I've said it before, but it bears repeating. We get asked a lot, what's the real difference between mead, wine, and cider? We're leaving beer out because beer is so completely different than those other three that it deserves its own video, if I ever decide to make a video about what is beer. But let's start with the basics, okay? So if you take juice, just as an example, don't get, don't get all angsty with me. Yes, you can make it from fruit too, but let's start with juice because it's easy. Let's say that juice just happened to be from an apple. You take that juice, you put it in a container, you add yeast, you let it ferment. You just made cider, okay? It's gonna be typically lower alcohol, anywhere from two or 3% all the way up to, I mean, you could make it as high as 10 or 12%, but to me, that's borderline on the next thing. So let's back up and say two to 3% to like maybe 8% or so, and it's cider. Now, cider can be still sparkling, sweet, or dry, which literally means non-bubbly, bubbly, tastes sweeter and doesn't taste sweet. If, however, you were to take that juice and add some sugar to it or condense it in some way so that there was more sugars that would bring the alcohol level up past that eight or 9%, now you have wine. Now, all of these definitions are super uber omni-generic, okay? Because here's the thing. Many people believe, and I'm not saying they're wrong, but many people believe that you can't make cider unless it's with apple juice, and many people believe you can't make wine unless it's with grapes, which those definitions are kind of changing today, okay? I'm not even gonna touch the cider one. That was a big controversy when we talked about it last time, not getting into it, but wine, yeah, I'll touch on that. Wine is usually eight to nine percent and up, with a sweet spot being somewhere between like 12 and 13 percent. Most commercial wines fall in the 10 to 14 or so range. Now. Traditionally, traditionally, wine was made with grapes and the juice of the grapes. But today, there are blueberry wines, strawberry wines, all sorts of wines. All the different types of wine, though, like, uh, you know, just some examples, Riesling, um, Merlot, things like that. Those are different types of grapes that make a different type of wine with a slightly different type of treatment or a vastly different type of treatment, depending on the wine you're making. But essentially, they're all still wine. So keep in mind, my basic definition for cider is just the juice and it's pretty much natural form. Or if you just took fruit and pressed it down and made a brew that was somewhere in the two to three or up to eight or 9% range, you've made cider. If it goes higher alcohol than that, like say you used the juice and you added sugar or used a lot more fruit or any number of ways that you use to get that alcohol content higher, now you've made wine. Okay, so that's two of the three covered so far. Hopefully you're still with me. Anyway, so the last one is mead. Now, in my humble opinion, and please, I'm, I'm gonna put on the fire retardant, uh, rotten tomato retardant suit when I say this. Me personally, I feel that mead is a wine, okay? But it's not a wine made with grapes, it's not a wine made with fruit, it's a wine made with honey. If you think about it, the techniques are very, very similar, okay? I've heard a lot of people say, oh, mead is like beer, it's made like beer. It's not made anything like beer, it's made like wine. So, to make a mead, you would take honey, add some water, add yeast, boom, you made mead. Now, if you added that juice that you had from the cider to that mead, it's still mead. Although some people would argue that it's not mead because it's more than just honey, water, and yeast. See, when you start getting into definitions and titling things, it gets very, very confusing. And I understand why everyone out there is confused because you know what, we get confused too. So I'm trying really hard to just say, some people say this, some people say this. They're not wrong based on their environment that they're in. However, I will say that the more modern definition of mead means more or less mostly honey made up the fermentables. Like to me, if you mix that apple juice with the honey, it's still mead, but it's also called a sizer or a melomel, which is a fruit mead. So the fact that the term melomel and sizer exist, and the definition is a fruit mead or an apple mead would make it where a mead can be more than just honey. So just, you know, the definitions don't even jive and work together, but that is the basic gist of those three things. So to summarize, juice, ferment, makes cider. Juice plus sugar ferments, makes wine. Honey, <laughs> water and or juice makes mead. Very, very simple. If you have any questions, ask below. 
See you next time on CS Bruce.